Hi, I'm Carmi Weininger with the Reactor Panel Saddle Company. This is Bijou, my horse, and we are going to demonstrate to you how to use the Port Lewis impression pad to register the pressures under your saddle. So the Port Lewis pad is a big red sack of, it's enclosed in clear vinyl. It has putty inside and it has two halves. To begin, you're going to have rolled your pad flat using a standard rolling pin. You'll hold the pad up to a bright source of light to be sure there are no clear spots and that the gel is evenly distributed. If you've done pizza dough rolling in the past, this will be easy for you. And then you'll need a helper to put this half of the pad, which is the right half, onto the horse's back and have your helper hold on to it. Take the left hand side and begin fastening the tabs from the center and then going one back and one forward. You want these two seams to be quite close together. Fasten the rear. Make sure these two tabs are flat on the back and not tucked underneath, which could be painful for the horse. And then finally fasten the front. If the horse has a high wither, this front tab will be tented to avoid making a pressure point on the wither of the horse. If you're testing a reactor panel saddle, You'll put the saddle onto the horse and center it. Be sure that there's a bit of pad showing in the front and a bit of impression pad showing around the end and the back and making sure that you have the same amount of pad visible around the perimeter of your panels on the left and also on the right. And you can be sure that your little heart reactor panel logo is lined up directly in the center of your two cams and then girth the saddle and go for your test ride. If you're testing a conventional saddle, let's just walk through how that looks. This means any saddle that's not a reactor panel, but is an English saddle. You put the saddle on in the usual place. You'll want to avoid tugging the impression pad forward, down, left, right. So be sure you've put the impression pad on in a place where you've got roughly equal amounts in front of your saddle and behind your saddle so that the pad stays balanced during your test. Once the pad's in the proper place and the saddle's in the proper place, go ahead and girth and go for your test ride. Here are some tips and ideas for using your impression pad successfully. We've talked about being sure that your pad is rolled out before you get on. If you're using a western saddle that's longer than the area of the pad, you'll want to remove the plastic cam buckles on the back and close this uh, tab with a piece of duct tape to avoid the cam buckles from pressing into the horse's back. The reason these cam buckles come off, according to the manufacturer, is so that you can work air bubbles out of your pad. Um, I don't know many people who actually do that, but you may be one who, who wants to use this in the function and manner for which it's designed. Once you've got your pad on your horse and you're ready to get on, you're going to want to mount from a mounting block, being sure that you don't begin your test with the pad skewed to one side. Ride your horse for a minimum of 15 minutes and a maximum of 25 minutes, being careful to go both directions equally and you do the same time at each gate, some walk, some trot, some canter on both leads. The reason you do not want to exceed 25 minutes is that if you have a severe pressure point, which I'll demonstrate by pushing on this pad with my thumb. You'll go all the way down through your pad, making a clear spot, and your horse will have absolutely no protection from the pressures of your saddle. We recommend that you pressure test your saddle with no saddle pad at all, if it's an English saddle, or your standard saddle blanket if it's a Western saddle. If you're using an English saddle and you believe that your pad is therapeutic and is providing a fitting benefit, test your saddle once without a pad at all. Test the saddle again with the pad that you believe is making an improvement and assess whether or not you've actually made a positive change by inserting your therapeutic pad. After you've done your pad test, photograph your pad. Either have somebody help you hold the pad up to a bright source of light or if you don't have a couple of helpers, one for each half of the pad, lay your pads on the windshield of your car, get inside, and take a photo. If you buy your impression pad from us, it comes with our consulting and assessing services for the life of your impression pad, meaning simply send us your photos, and we'll consult with you about the effects of the pressure tests. 
Any questions, comments, call us or email us. Using the impression pad is quite easy. If you have a brilliant result, it looks like you almost didn't ride. That's easy to interpret. If you have a severe problem where all of the gel is pushed out of the pad and you have a clear zone, that's also easy to interpret. But in between those nuances, those shades of gray, you might want to give us a call.